We're talking about the comeback. Good morning, guys. You've got the the no, you've got the Novak duo this morning on Novak News. We gave Burge the boot for today. Fridays was normally normally don't do it on Fridays, but we thought yep. uh, well, Lisa and I were together, um, and we thought we'd have a little bit of a um, uh, chat about yep. what exactly we think the comeback looks like. Uh, when the comeback's going to be, it is only our yeah. opinion. It's only our opinion. Um, but there's indicators out there that we were talking about this morning in the marketplace that we feel pretty excited about. Yeah, so there's a lot of positivity out there. Um, we're on the road a lot. And the one thing that I've really noticed the last week, particularly after the Easter long weekend, was the amount of traffic that's on the road. That's yep. doubled. So yeah. um, we actually travel from, we, we live in the eastern suburbs of Sydney and our business is on the northern beaches. So we're in our cars a lot. Usually it's taking me about an hour and a half to get into the office. Um, hey, Rob from the UK. Um, usually it's taking me about an hour and a half to get into the office. During COVID, it was taking 35 minutes. Now I'm back up to about an hour, an hour 15. Yeah, really? So that's a really good indicator that things are starting to get back to some sort of normality. Well, I was talking you, yesterday to the guy in Meriton uh, Leasing, head yeah. of Meriton Leasing, and he was saying in that week of COVID, he said they would go out and grab lunch and um, all half the, half the people that are on the street were Meriton staff. He goes, it was absolutely no one around wow. in well, the it's city. True. Apparently the CBD of Sydney back then was just like a ghost town, like it was... Yeah. Um, Apocalypse now, I think it was the word that we used. So yeah, yeah, that's like changed. That. The yeah. city, the city's starting to get a heartbeat now. Without a doubt, like everywhere's busy. I mean, we've just done a big walk, right, in Centennial Park, and it was full of people. I mean, everyone was doing the right thing, but it was full of people. So it's nice to see. I think there's a there's a real positive, um, upbeat feel around town. That's for sure. And I know just even within our business. Um, it's been really busy this week, so lots and lots of buyer inquiries. Obviously, we're doing our one-on-one -on -one appointments. Yeah. I'm doing double the amount of appointments um, uh, this week than yeah, what I was the, this time last week. Yeah, the appointments in the, the appointments in our offices are, are definitely busy as well. That's yeah. positive. Yeah, no, yeah. Another positive. So, what are the other positives we're seeing? Yeah, um, some other positives. The are, brokers are all saying they're doing the. Um, uh, mortgage brokers that we're talking to, with are saying that they are flat out a lot of refinancing not a lot of new loans but a lot of refinancing yeah and also I was talking with a broker yesterday and he was saying to me um, how fast people are able to get approval Good morning Luke um, how fast people are able to get approval so that's really interesting as well but people are definitely talking about stuff being busier how come Luke didn't say hi to me <laughs> Luke, come on, mate. Please, every day we talk. But, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it is. It's interesting and um, it, it, it's refreshing. So what does it look like on the other side? <sighs> look, I, I, I think we are already on the comeback yeah. without realising yeah, it. Yeah. I reckon we're already on that positive note without realising it. And I can see looking back post-Easter was our start of our of our of our recovery um and, and i think there's 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 there was two pandemics one was a health one another one is an econ e yeah. economic one um but um both both have created fear um but i definitely think that health one um we've come back and i also think that the economic one guys we're starting to see some some really good signs yeah i agree and look there's no doubt you know that we're not we, we don't have our head in the clouds there's no denying that it's going to take time absolutely for um businesses to come back and it's going to take time for people to adjust as well you know we're now used to social distancing it's going to feel almost weird if you know we're all at a party and you're amongst a whole crowd of people i think a lot of people are going to be very aware of that for some time um but definitely there's a lot more positivity out there. Personally, I think over the next few weeks, we're just going to start to ravel. The same way we raveled in, we're going to start to ravel out. Yep. Um, don't you think, Mark? That's, yep. that's what's going to start to happen now. I saw some data on the stock market. They reckon the all-time low of the stock market to buy a great stock was two weeks ago. Um, Do you remember the video that we did last week? And I called it the... 
um, David Jones clearance sale for those of you guys that saw it and I called it last week and I said I reckon that is the bottom of the market and I noted that someone on my LinkedIn um, who, who follows me there who was something to do with finance he mentioned that I had actually called it and had agreed with that yeah um, but it's interesting I reckon that was the actual bottom of the market right now I think we're gonna plateau out well, with property right. and I think I was calling it the eye of the storm you know we've passed the eye, yep. of, eye of the storm yeah but yep. definitely, definitely. If, a, if someone's looking at, at purchasing a property uh, I think it's a very good time to get in and buy um, if someone's yeah. looking at selling a property, uh, I'd probably hold off. Um, but the problem with holding off is, are you holding off for one, two, or three years? So I think people are saying, well, you know what, instead of waiting Mark, one, two, agree. or three years. Sorry, right? no, I don't agree with you. You can sell now. Yes, because I'm saying to a lot of my vendors that, you know, the, the question is, are you looking at selling over the next three to six months? Because if you are- it Depends if we, you're buying or not. Yeah, but we know what's happening right now. Yeah. We know what's happening right now. They're, we're just speculating, guys. You know, I mean, there there is absolutely no certainty as to what's going to happen. This is the first disagreement we've had. <laughs> but I, I, I just think right now, while we know what the market's doing, bring your property on now. You know, dip your toes in the water, Look, test the market. I, I think if you are buying at a higher price range in this market, sell now. There's, Otherwise, I reckon just... just uh, the, live, live simple. The other thing to point out is there's hardly any stock on the market. So we're fortunate in yeah, our agency. That's good, actually, we've that's we've been getting quite a lot of listings. There's yeah. hardly any stock in the market. So guess what everyone does? Everyone waits and sits on the sidelines and says, you know what, we'll just wait and see what happens in spring. And then everyone comes on all at the same time. And then all of a sudden you've got all this competition. It's dangerous. Yeah, it is. Well, that's why I didn't say, uh, I said year two or three, not three six nine months because i think you're absolutely right i think is he agreeing with you're agreeing with me now no no we're talking about two different things <laughs> um i think you're absolutely right that there will be a lot of stock hitting the market yeah um, i agree with that and look people are selling for all different reasons but in all honesty i mean i'm carrying about 18 listings at the moment and i've only got one vendor that desperately needs to sell the rest yeah. of them are like you know if it sells now or it sells in three months or six months that's okay um, but the levels of stock, you're right, Luke. The level of the, the level of stock in general on the market is low, and I think if you are looking to sell in the next three or six months, get your property on the market now. And um, we are definitely moving stock collectively as an office. We've done about half, I think, six to seven deals this week. So yeah, anything that sells in Sydney, we're generally selling now. <laughs> or we <laughs> no, can sell. We've done all the sales. Or we can sell. No, but yeah. um, it's. The true number, the actuals in terms of numbers of stock and guys, I know people are watching her from um, some people are from all over Australia, but in and our, some people are in lockdown. I saw we've got some UK people on here. Yeah, and then all in, international in, now. Some people um, are in good, you know, in 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 full lockdown. But when yep. you when you look at our stock levels, uh, I tell you something that's really interesting. To uh, off market's been a very very interesting thing that's happening, yes. um, where I think there's more property on the market than you think, Luke. Um, but I think these are these are some what some agents call pocket listings or Tom Panos calls uh, pocket listings. I call them pre-portal. Pre-portal listings. Yeah. So yeah. Um, on the portals, so for um, real estate dot com and domain. So if we have a hundred thousand houses on the northern beaches and, and units, and there was at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of the year, I looked at the data yesterday. Uh, de in mid twenty uh, fifth of December, around there, there was yeah. three hundred and thirty properties on the market. Now we're it's touching towards the seven fifty. So there's more four or five months later. Plus, there's the pre portal stuff or yeah. the, the pocket listing. So there's 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 a bit of stock there, but I reckon there's going to be a lot more stock coming on the market if you if and that's and a good reason to sell now. But yeah, reckon if you can just, hold on, just a tip as well for buyers that might be watching, or if you know someone who's looking for property, agents are doing a lot of off market at the moment. It sort of comes in cycles. So realestate.com and domain are not true indicators, as Mark said, of exactly what's on the market. If you are anymore, looking, they used to be. It's definitely not yet. So you know, if you are looking at buying something, um, I mean, obviously for us personally, our social media portals are where we put all of our off-market or pre-portal stock. Yeah. Um, I don't know where other agents park theirs, but um, you know, it's critical that you reach out to a few of the local agents and let them know what you're looking for. Because I've sold, or well, I know we have as an office mark, we've sold heaps of our off-market yep. pre-portal stock. And that's sales. To, to people that didn't even know, you know. COVID. 
Um, but rentals, um, I do have to say, everyone who's looking, if you want to upgrade your rental property now, commercial or residential, it is bloody cheap. Yeah. Have a look around, guys, at the rental prices. If you've got any friends or family that are considering move, moving out of their rental property and into another rental property, right now is the perfect time to snap up a rental. The prices are cheaper than what yeah. they were. <laughs> Michael Edwards, Novak News is the only news I listened to in 2020. What, not even, over and above 2GB, relevance. I've become a relevance. 2GB fan. I was just telling Mark. It's relevance. But guys, oh yeah, serious note, snap, yep. up, snap up a rental. If you, if you want to uh, if you, if you get uncomfortable and move out of your rental and move into another one, you'll either save money or you'll upgrade the property. And guess um, what we're doing now? This is cool. So, you know, you used to have to fill out these big, long rental applications oh, yeah. that were painstaking. They were absolute punish. And a butcher, hey, gang. So, hey, how's, Anna. How's Steve? Um, so now we're actually doing video um, applications via Zoom. Uh, so you can apply for a property. So it's got to be all the everyone who's on the lease needs to do the Zoom interview, and we will Zoom interview you rather than having to fill out all of that that paperwork. Yep, we've just deleted the written application. Where the I want to say we're the first agent that's done it. Yeah first so normally that page to, to, to take and to apply for a property whether it say it's a husband or wife there was probably an hour worth of paperwork to fill out for the agent and which is for the landlord yeah we reduce that down to about five or ten minutes because it's a video interview video interview so that's cool well I think you need to do a segment just on that actually I really do I've been told <laughs> All, awesome um, also, Monday night, Novak News, on Monday night, um, we have Rosie Sullivan, who's going to be joining us. Guys, you need to tune into that. Rosie is the largest um, trainer for um, real estate. Industry. Industry, like legislation and so all that sort of stuff. Ag- it's where the agents learn how to be agents. Yeah. So she's going to be joining us on Monday night and talking to us about... Um, real estate legislation, what's happening. There's been some confusion out there as well. All, I know I'm, gonna, all I'm gonna ask her is about keeps the... cutting, You keep cutting me off. You keep cutting me off. No, go on, go on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> so she, she is gonna be just t- talking to us about the facts, about what's actually happening with real estate legislation, because there's been some facts confusion out there. <laughs> There's been some confusion out there that um, all the new reforms that came in at the end of March are now non-existent because of COVID. That is, in fact, completely untrue. Um, The reforms are well and truly in place. Um, So she's going to be covering all the facts. Super amazing woman, and she's riddled with incredible amounts of knowledge. So you've got to tune in on Monday night. Over to you, Mark. (laughs) <laughs> what I'm going to ask Rosie on Monday night, if you want to tune in, is all of the agents' stuff-ups that they've covered up. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be some good goss there. No names. Yeah. No names. But this is the lady that cleans up messes after real estate agents. Yeah. Yeah. So she... we're going to get the inside goss. Oh, that's and, cool. And hopefully you can learn. Yeah, but you wouldn't let me say it before. <laughs> Luke Moroni saying, give Mark a chance, Lisa. Yeah. This, this is why they don't have me on in the morning. Do you know what Mark said to me this morning? We just walked for an hour 15 and he told me I had to stop talking. Yeah, since yeah. five o'clock, Lisa, I, uh, yeah, she just... I think I pretty talk. much got my whole word count out in one hour for the whole day. Yeah, she's a very vocal lady, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, but have a great day today. It is a beautiful day. Blue skies again. Yes. Enjoy your family. And yes, we are heading into work. Enjoy Usually your work. Usually we have Fridays off, right? Flowery, welcome. But we are. We welcome are. Welcome back to work, Flowery. He, uh, he's at the Settlers Inn in Port Macquarie. Shut down and just wow. reopened up because of the job. Keep up. Well done, buddy. And uh, the shack, I joined the shack last night. Another one of his businesses up there. Oh, cool. And uh, guys, have a beautiful weekend. <laughs> have a great weekend, guys. See ya. Take care. See ya. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.